Yeah, g'day students. Uh, just going to scroll through this uh, bit of this uh, sheet here, DC Machines Lab. Now, I have been trying to update this, but I don't see the changes reflecting through. Which is a bit of a worry. No matter. Um, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about was the circuit diagrams. So you'll see here, I've got a circuit diagram which is straight from the manual. And then I've got a screenshot from the virtual lab. In some cases, I put a, uh, a photo of the circuit diagram as well. And I noticed, student, like I noticed in the last lab um, where I had a photograph, uh, the students were saying, oh, do I have a diagram like this? Now, let's see if I can get down to where the uh, photograph is. But the point is <clears throat> electrical engineers know how to read a circuit diagram. They can look at a, um, I'll just scroll back up to that first example. Now, an electrical engineer can look at this and they know that that's a variable DC source. If you're serious about becoming an engineer, you need to understand that that's what that symbol actually means. And there's plenty of information, like this is why I've screen captured and put this information here. You can see the same symbol, and it says variable voltage DC power supply, and it's even got terminal numbers. So if you actually went to the physical uh, power supply, now some students will say that, oh, I'm providing too much information, and then I get 50 questions or 100 questions during the lab. So I'm trying to make my life easier by providing you with these sorts of um, aids. You can see here, this is what the physical power supply looks very similar. Obviously, it's uh, uh, this is a virtual uh, image. <clears throat> but you can see here, here's the DC supply. So you need to learn, you, you're learning a language. Uh, you're learning how to interpret symbols like this and translate them to uh, an image and understand what they mean. Because obviously, we can all draw circuit diagrams like this. Um, it's, it's not how things are done. We illustrate circuit diagrams through symbols. So you need to be able to grasp this if you have any hope of becoming an electrical engineer. All right, that's the message I'm sending home to you. So when you first start this lab, you will see a few pictures like this, where I'm just trying to help you get into the lab. But uh, you should not expect screenshots like this or photographs of the real gear hooked up in circuit all the way through all the labs, because then you are, you're getting nothing out of doing these labs. This is just a crutch to help you get started, but eventually you need to wean yourself off this and you should be able to look at a circuit diagram like this and immediately recognize the real world components and the connection points. And you need to be able to, when you hook up a circuit diagram or an electrical circuit, you need to be able to trace through that circuit using this diagram and identifying where the cables are, where the terminations are, where the components are, so that you can check that your circuit is correct. And I can do this at the start, but you shouldn't rely on me to do that all the time. All right, that's the message I have for today. Thank you.